Hey guys, it is Kitty to Die For from The Ladies to Die For, and I haven't done <clears throat> an unboxing video in a long time. I don't even know if I'm going to post this yet or not, so I'm just doing it because why not? You know, why not? I still get the <clears throat> Fallout crate um, every other month. Uh, I don't get like Loot Crate or Arcade Block or anything like that anymore just because I can't afford all the boxes right now although I would love to have all the boxes um this one has been going on for about I think maybe two years um and I've been getting it ever since the very first one so it would have been cool if I would have started unboxing them from the very first one but it is what it is so I'm gonna go ahead and open this one I don't remember what number it is but there's a little pin in each one that has a number on it, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll find out when we open it. I don't have my knife either. It's in the other room, and I don't feel like getting it. So, let's see what's in here. Hopefully some good stuff. Um, I've been pretty happy with most of the stuff in these crates, although some other people said they weren't so happy with it. I don't know. Um, okay, so the first thing I pull out of the box is some socks um I like socks they're I guess enclave socks which if you play fallout you know what that is but I'm not a huge fan of like patriotic kind of stuff so whatevs still they're socks and I like socks so okay um what should I get out of here next all right there's been one of these little figures in pretty much every one of the boxes, too. Like, a different character. This is the iBot. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. You know, maybe I will make a video going through all of the stuff that you guys have missed from all the previous boxes. Maybe I'll do that. Um, I guess I'm not going to open him now, but that's another thing. that If you play Fallout, you know what this is, but... Okay, I like that. All right, so this is, okay, this is crate number 19. And this pen being black and gold um, actually means that it's like, kind of like the chase version of these clip, or pen, clip, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because um, usually they're just all gold. If you get the one that's black and gold, it means that it's like the special version of it. And I've gotten a couple of these, so that's pretty cool. Um, the next thing is... Oh, it's a window cling. Okay, so it's not really a sticker. It goes on actual window. Maybe I'll put it on my car. I got a lot of stickers on my car. Windows, and um, some of them are peeling off. So maybe I'll put this on there. It's the Stalking Mothman. Not too bad. Alright, there's a shirt in here. I'm going to save the shirt for last. I won't even look at it yet. Alright, and then, oh my gosh, this is exciting. So, there's different things that you can build. Um, the first the first thing that I built, um, they give you like one part, one or two parts in each box. And the first thing was um, a power armor, like a power armor guy and a little dog meat with armor too um that was like maybe five or five or six parts all together to build that um and i don't think there's oh and then there was a uh liberty prime which actually i think his leg is broke it broke when I was putting it together. I don't think it was my fault. I like to say that it was the fault of the people who made it. Because it's not like I was rough putting it together or anything. So, I don't know. But anyways, I tried to glue it back together and it really didn't stay very well. But I'm pretty sure I could, I'm pretty sure I could fix it. Um, but anyways, so this one is going to be a death claw. And I love death claws obviously i have a death claw tattoo that is not colored in yet i will get it colored in one day but um so this is his tail and i haven't received any parts to this death claw yet so these are these are the first parts for this for this build a figure thingy and ooh, and his head That's 
I'm really excited to complete this Deathclaw character. I have no Deathclaw things. Well, I have a Deathclaw pop vinyl. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited for that. Now, if this is a Deathclaw shirt, I will be really excited. So it's the last thing in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out and open it up now and I'll let you guys see it first. Uh, oh, okay, it's not a Deathclaw shirt, but it's a Mysterious Stranger. It's still a pretty awesome shirt. It sucks that it's green, only because I'm not going to be able to wear it on stream. It will disappear with my green screen. So that sucks, but I do like green. It goes with my eyes. But yes, so I like that shirt. Yeah, this was actually a really good, this is a really good box. There's been a couple that weren't so exciting, but I haven't been like super disappointed with any of them. So the people that said they weren't happy with them, whatever. You can't please everybody. I like them. I'm going to keep getting them. Like I said, I've been getting them since the very first one and I don't intend to quit because I want to collect everything that I possibly can related to Fallout. It's my favorite game. So, um, yeah. So maybe I will make another video soon of all of the things that you guys have missed from the previous boxes and, you know, just whatever Fallout collectibles I have just to show you guys. But, um, so it's January. I will be getting my next box in March and I will make a video to show you guys then too. All right. Love you guys. Bye.